boozers and welcome to the next installment of Booze Reviews. I wasn't going to do a beer tonight, but after hearing stories, I need to drink. I need to drink. Oh my god. Anyways, this is going to be a rant for another time, but tonight we've got a beer from Boombox. Now this beer, I've kind of had before um it was the ultra deluxe that i had and it was about this time last year i had it actually um my uh wife and i went out up into the mountains and i brought this beer with me and i went and did a review of it so if you want to go back to last march you'll see the ultra deluxe now this is actually coming in at a 6.5 percent huh the other one came in like eight how anyways this is the super ultra deluxe double dry hopped india pale ale from boombox i wanted to get this one because like i said i had the ultra deluxe and it was really good uh but the super ultra deluxe sounded good so i figured why not and you can go to boomboxbrewing.com. The ingredients are water, malt, hops, and yeast. Your standard four. And yeah, I say we get this son of a bitch opened and we're gonna have a look what we have inside. All right. Yeah, we got a lot. <clears throat> Sorry, of juice in there. That is a nice hazy looking beer so yes there's a lot of haze coming off of there and actually the other one that I had had a lot of haze of it too one finger worth of head and um, this goes to the coronavirus and yeah that's looking quite juicy the smell it does have those tropical notes, the tangerine, papaya, mandarin notes, just really, really nicely juicy notes. And a little bit of a, the, you get the citrus hops off there, of course, that gives you the obvious tropical notes. Well, let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. All right, all right. Do you have that tropical note off there? Right at the beginning part. Uh, the mouthfeel is a little lighter. Small stickiness on the mouthfeel there, but not much. Um, but you do have a, a nice sort of tropical note and then it goes into a bitter hop note. Um, Touch of that booziness is on there though. You do get that alcohol booziness in there, but just a small little smidge that gives it a little bit of a bitter note. Bitter note. It's good. It's really good. It's an easy drinking beer, and I don't mind it. But. I'm starting to get to the point where I've had their lineups and I'm getting to the point where their lineups are starting to meld together and they're becoming all kind of the same. I'm not trying to pick on Boombox. I know they're trying different things and I know that IPAs are their jam, but I want to see a little bit different from their, from their, uh, their repertoire. Uh, the hollow tape was amazing. Uh, they had a beautiful um, collaboration last year, which was absolutely phenomenal. Um, the laser one that they have kind of has this similar taste to it, but that's just my thoughts. I mean, people would probably pick out a lot more than I could. I'm just finding that their repertoire is becoming repetitive. Well, what's your thoughts, folks? Do you like it? Do you not like it? For me, again, I don't mind it, it's good, but I'm starting to 
feel that we're getting into repetitive territory here. Till next time, folks, I am PK saying cheers. Stay frosty. We'll see you real soon. Thanks again for joining, and you guys have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful night. And by the way, midnight, midnight train from them is actually pretty solid, too. Cheers.